Welcome back, you guys. Ohio Grow Up. Now, we're having a couple of issues with the tent. The first thing that I'm going to address is the temperature and the humidity. Down there is going to always be lower than what the other one is reading, which is where the buds are, which is the AC Infinity, which I have hooked up outside of the tent. And that's reading 7360. So the RH is 60 right now, but I want to keep it under 60 and it's constantly around 65 to 70, which I don't want mold in this tent. Like with the dirt, I just watered them. The temperatures are kind of low, has high humidity. So I had to buy another dehumidifier and that is the Vivelson. So I'm keeping this one in here until that one starts, really starts sucking the air out. But this one really wasn't, it was pulling it out, but not a lot. So if you guys ever had this issue in the comments below, not being able to get your humidity down, tell me what you did and what you used. That is the Vivelson. That is the mini dehumidifier. And then this is like technically similar, just a little bit bigger tower, but this one has light. So I didn't like that. It has like blue, green, and purple lights that show up in the back. And I don't want that on uh, with the, uh, plants so when it's lights out i don't want those lights but second we have light burn you guys hopefully i'm gonna try to find it in here okay so we're having spottiness there burn marks and then i can kind of see something light on this plant which is here because we did lower the light and a little bit on this plant lightly and then I have a little bit here on this plant. And then these and the buds, if you can see the leaves there, they're pointing up. Let me zoom this in for you guys. Those bud leaves are pointing up. So that means they're getting a lot of heat, a lot of direct light too closely. If you look there, they're pointing straight up. So that means way too much light. Luckily, I caught it in time. As you can see here, this one's getting light burn, but that's just because she's tall. She's always closer to the light. But if you look in the previous videos, I moved it to 24 inches. For right now, we're at 24 inches. I had it at 18. This is the older model Spider Farmer SF4000. You can't calibrate it, dial it down, dial it up. Someone said you could, but I didn't find what they were talking about back here. So, next grow, we will definitely probably have to get a different light. Well, we're doing fine. and I just don't think you can get it 18 inches to these plants. You can see like the leaves there on the banana purple punch. Now, this just started today. I only lowered the light two days ago. So, you start seeing those little blotchiness this plant always has some type of deficiency, but I know from reading the book that that is light burn. We had it at eight, eight inches, guys. So we have in humidity issues at the moment and then the light burn, which I caught now. So hopefully by backing that off 24 inches that we see some improvement. It's almost lights out for these girls. So they will be able to cool off and then wake up tomorrow with the lights further away. That's probably why we saw explosive bud growth because they got more light than they ever had. These aren't fox telling. The banana purple punches are pretty resilient. So I've heard and they actually love all that light. But I just noticed it in a couple leaves back there. It's not really that bad on the banana purple punches. And it's not that bad on the pink or the purple lemonade. But this plant here, the blackberry, for some reason, maybe it's just this plant, but it is like real finicky. Like anything can make anything happen with this plant here. So next run we're possibly i actually already have the seeds for the next run so if you stayed in this long i'm actually going to do a giveaway i got some free seeds and i don't know where i put them right now 
but we're going to be doing another giveaway so thanks for tuning in in the comments let me know if my diagnosis was correct with the light burn which i'm pretty sure that's it and how do you get the humidity down i got two dehumidifiers luckily the temperature is already low today so that way the heat from the dehumidifiers kind of pump the heat back up to where it normally is which is around 74. like comment subscribe facebook instagram twitter youtube ohio grow up